So we are back at this boiler that uh, we installed a, about a month ago to do preliminary cleaning. I turned it off. It's been running a little bit. Uh, we've had uh, fairly mild weather, but uh, it has been running. See this side glass has got some dirt in it. I've got this cap loose. And come around back here. I've got this loose and I've got this cap loose. So pull it off here, see what we got at this skim tapping. Hmm, I expected worse. I'm going to use a paint stirrer and see if we can get some of the goo out. Well, that's not too bad, really. It's definitely there. But not especially awful. that now we're gonna whoops I just tore my shirt ah, look at that nail right there jeez all right I'm gonna do a little bypass There we go. I can hear it pouring, but I gotta get that out. There's our skim. Probably gonna shut that down. There we go. A little bit of leftover surfactant, I think, from the uh, oils. I think that goo is primarily a mixture of rust particles, a, a colloidal suspension of rust particles, and the um, lubri lubricant oils left over from the machining process. Take a look at what's going on in here. Got a little bit of goo there. Clean that out a little bit more thoroughly. Yeah, there you go. Mmm. That's why we always have a clean out there because 
it acts as the goo catcher. And you can move it. Because it's now concentrated. Yeah. Lovely. Let's see what we got at this end. Goo in there. Yep. Yeah. So this will. They've done their job. You know, probably that might have to be checked a year from now, maybe. We'll just add a little bit more water to. And it's pretty much going to go on like that for a while. Not much more to see here, folks. So I'm signing off and just getting into getting into it.